Augustine Biro, in his essay, Res Judicati Papers and Essays, delves into the intricate world of legal decisions and their lasting implications. The title, Res Judicati, is a Latin term meaning, a thing adjudicated, reflecting the essay's core exploration of the finality and authority of legal judgments. Birrell opens with a contemplation on the nature of judgment, highlighting the reverence it commands in society. He contends that judgments are not mere ephemeral decisions but significant events that leave an indelible mark on the lives of those involved. The gravity of legal decisions, he argues, lies not only in their immediate consequences but in their enduring impact on the parties and the legal system. The author brings attention to the concept of stare decisis, emphasizing the importance of precedent in the legal realm. He posits that the principle of stare decisis, or to stand by things decided, is fundamental for maintaining consistency and predictability in the law. Birrell argues that the binding nature of precedence contributes to the stability of legal systems, fostering a sense of order and reliability. Birrell explores the notion of res judicati as a doctrine reinforcing the finality of legal decisions. He explains that once a matter has been adjudicated, it should not be reopened, preventing endless litigation and ensuring closure for the parties involved. This, according to Birrell, is crucial for the integrity of the legal system, as perpetual reconsideration of past judgments would undermine the very foundations of justice. The essay then shifts its focus to the potential pitfalls of the res judicati doctrine. Birrell acknowledges the importance of justice and fairness, expressing concern that the rigid application of the doctrine may lead to injustice in certain cases. He raises the question of whether there should be exceptions to the finality of judgments in situations where a manifest injustice has occurred. Birrell introduces the concept of constructive residential judicata to address this concern. This concept involves the application of the res judicati doctrine not only to the specific issues directly adjudicated but also to related matters that could have been litigated in the original proceeding. He argues that this approach promotes efficiency and fairness, preventing parties from strategically withholding certain claims to gain a tactical advantage in subsequent litigation. The essay takes a historical turn as Birrell traces the development of the res judicati doctrine through legal history. He highlights how the doctrine has evolved over time, adapting to changing societal norms and legal principles. By examining the historical roots of res judicati, Birrell adds depth to his analysis, illustrating how this legal concept has been shaped by the collective wisdom and experience of generations. As Birrell concludes his exploration, he returns to the overarching theme of the essay, the significance of legal judgments. He reiterates that the res judicati doctrine, while essential for the stability of the legal system, should not be applied blindly. Instead, he advocates for a nuanced approach that considers the broader principles of justice and fairness. In Res Judicati Papers and Essays, Augustine Birrell crafts a comprehensive examination of the Res Judicati doctrine, blending legal analysis with philosophical reflections. His essay is a testament to the intricate balance that must be struck between the finality of legal judgments and the pursuit of justice. Through historical insights, thoughtful considerations, and a plea for a measured approach, Birrell invites readers to contemplate the enduring impact of legal decisions on individuals and society.